Hi there guys, what's up? This is your friend and Twitter Manas and guys today we're going to be doing one more problem in this lecture series based on orthographic prediction. So here is the object and for this arrow is for having the front view. Okay. And from here we're going to be drawing the top view and from here we'll be having the left hand side view. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Now before starting, let me draw simply an XY line. Let me do this. All right, so there is the XY line above which there is vertical plane and front view below which there is horizontal plane on which a top view is going to be made. Now let's worry about the dimensions. Okay, now this is something that you will see immediately when you look at this object from the front. There is this sort some sort of a rectangle that you're going to see. Okay, right at the bottom, 50 by 45. This is going to be 45. So a rectangle of 50 by 45. And one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to make this object assuming that its base is 10 millimeters above the horizontal plane and its back is 10 millimeters in front of the vertical plane. Okay, that's uh, how the object has been oriented with respect to the HP as well as VP. All right, so we're going to go ahead from this point corresponds to this point over here 50 and this is going to be 45. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 50 done and this is going to be 45. All right, now let's complete this. 50 and let's finish this all right <clears throat> now immediately the next thing that you will be able to see is this okay so this corner corresponds to this corner in the front view all right so we're gonna go this much amount this much amount is how much this is 12 and towards the right hand side we need to travel a distance of 90 millimeters so something like this will happen okay please watch this and this is gonna be 12 done and from here we need to go 90 steps that's it and then down below by 12 yet again and then back here all right so this strip 90 by 12 millimeter strip is something that you will also be seeing from the front well what else can we do okay there is this point guys this point i'm talking about this point appears as a distance of this point appears at a distance of 22 millimeters just above this 45 dimension so this is the 45 dimension okay let me let me do this quickly this is the 45 dimension and from this point onwards this point onwards you need to go ahead and travel a distance of 22 millimeters so let's do that that's it let me remove this dimension for now and this is 22 all right let me remove this right now so we have reached here okay and what else can be done okay let's see now we've traveled by this amount 12 okay so this zigzag line you see this zigzag line you see will appear as a straight line we have already traveled by an amount of 12 and then we're going to go ahead and reach this point by traveling 24 millimeters then we will again go ahead upstairs rather by an amount of 12 okay so 24 and 12 other distances to be traveled and we're going to be getting these two points this point and this one over here so let's start um, first we're going to travel by an amount of 24 and then we're going to travel by an amount of 12 all right and once you reach here once you reach here uh, let's figure out what else can be done now that's it so this point corresponds to this height that is 24 and this point corresponds to this height this much is 12 all right so guys we've reached here and this point corresponds to this point in the orthographic prediction so what we need to do is we need to travel towards the left by an amount of 50 millimeters let me show you why because from this point to this point it's 40 and from this point to this over here is 10 so 40 and 10 will make 50 and uh, we're gonna go left hand side by an amount of 50 millimeters so let's go ahead and do that so from this point 50 all right that's it so we've reached here okay what is the next thing that we can do now this zigzag portion you see will appear as a straight line when you watch this entire object from the front okay this zigzag portion i'm talking about okay so what we're gonna do is we'll we'll go ahead and join these two points with the help of a simple straight line okay in reality it's not straight it's it's a, some sort of a zigzag line okay fine but what's next so we had this point 12 and we are having this edge also but how can that edge be made well let's see so this point is 12 mm below so this there is a point 12 millimeters below that's the point and we're gonna have to draw a line and this particular line this line i'm talking about this edge i'm talking about is gonna intersect this inclined line somewhere here let me exactly uh find the point where so i'm gonna extend this line that's it that's the point i was talking about 
So this corner is this corner in the orthographic view. All right. Now, is there anything else which is left? Let's work that out. So this is the portion, some sort of a knife portion that you're gonna see from the front, okay? And this is the portion that you're gonna see, okay? All right, and uh, fine, that's all. Okay, is there anything else? This strip, 90 by 12 strip is this one. Okay, 90 by 12 strip is this one. And finally, we have this 50 by 45 rectangle. 50 by 45 rectangle. All those edges which are clearly visible ha have been made by solid lines. Now, those edges which are not visible, okay? And there are some edges. There is, in fact, one edge particularly which is lying behind a surface, okay? But it has to be given some respect in the form of a hidden line. And that has to be carried out. Please watch the, where the mouse is hovering. I'm speaking of this edge. Okay, this edge from this point to this point now if you try to work this out and it's going to be having a height of 45 so this much portion of that edge is still visible but some portion of that edge goes above and it meets until it reaches here okay that portion is not visible it is lying behind and hence it has to be given some respect in the form of a hidden line so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from this point to this point and let's say we, we, we're going to make this um, sort of a hidden way hidden to i'm going to use this all right, so that's exactly what I was talking about. And finally, now let's make sure these uh, these lines are represented dark and thick. Okay, now let's simple. That's it. So that's all you're gonna see from the front. So guys, let's go ahead and make the top view. Okay, for that, what I'm gonna be doing is let me project this line. Let it, this is the back portion, all right? And let me do that once again. This is the back portion 90 millimeters obviously okay now you'll watch this edge okay this edge this exact edge i'm talking about and this is having a distance of let us say this is 28 and this is 22 so 28 plus 22 will be 50 all right so you're gonna go ahead from this point and travel a distance of 50 millimeters that's it and then again let, let me make a box initially and then whichever portion is visible we're gonna go ahead and make that by solid dark red lines that's 90 and let me close this down all right all right let us now bring these so-called projector lines down below let us go ahead and do that one more done so what's next guys now <clears throat> from this point onwards this point corresponds to this point and we need to travel over here by an amount of 28 millimeters so let's go ahead and do that and from that there we're gonna move towards the right hand side direction so this is gonna be 28 all right and then finally we're gonna reach here okay we're gonna reach here this point i'm talking about this point all right so let's go here and then you're gonna see this l sort of a portion okay something else out of a portion and finally it would end here that's it here this point i'm talking about okay this point this point that's it so let us darken that portion so we've made these profile okay now what about this guys this is 10 millimeters from this point to this point this point to this point this is 10 millimeters so let's go ahead and do that also and this is going to be 32 from this point to this point so from here we need to go travel at amount of 32 millimeters so let me have a dark red color okay from this point onwards it's going to be 32 and then we need to travel here by an amount of 40 millimeters that means this this line i'm talking about so we can directly have it and then finally it's going to go here go here in this direction this this line i'm talking about and then we need to join this by okay okay that's all now there's this edge that also you're gonna see okay and let's make that edge all right so there is this portion this portion i'm talking about okay so there is this portion and what else we had this portion okay and we've already made this portion that's it is there anything else that we can see now there is this edge we can see okay and there is this edge also only this much portion this much portion which lies exactly beneath this okay this much so we're gonna go ahead and make that dark now guys uh, we need to think about those hidden lines i'm speaking of those edges which cannot be seen directly which are lying beneath the surface now what about this 
there is an edge over here so from this point to this point we're going to be having an edge okay so corresponds to this point and then we're going to go down and this is the edge i'm talking about from the here till we reach here let me use a different sort of a line hidden to yeah that's it exactly exactly okay that's it now is there any anything else that can be seen now what about this guys there is an edge over here okay at a height of 45 millimeters okay this edge i'm talking about this edge in fact is also there but it's not visible directly it's lying beneath the surface and hence it has to be given some respect so basically what i'm going to be doing is now this distance is 18 millimeters so let's go ahead and plot this distance initially and this is 18 okay let me put that and from from this point onwards until we reach here that's it so this is going to be hidden line all right so these are the two hidden edges when you look at this object from the top okay now we're going to go ahead and look at this object from over this side that is for having the left hand side view and for that the construction is pretty simple um you need to draw a simply an x y line over here x1 y1 line rather i should say a black line basically yeah let me convert this to black okay now what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be extending these so-called projector lines from over here that's it and i'm going to be turning them by an angle of 45 degree okay something like this will happen all right now let me extend these lines until they reach here and it should look something like this all okay now we're going to be extending these lines in the upward direction but before that the limit to those lines is this line okay and let me extend these lines so that they reach here let me copy this and you guys can do this stuff with the help of a mini chapter it's pretty simple and let me extend the horizontal lines from the left of your screen or from the front view towards here towards here <clears throat> once the front views and top views are ready um, it's going to get very easy to make the left hand side view or even the right hand side view so what are we supposed to see from the left hand side view now this portion this 18 mm portion i'm talking about okay and uh, this is the 18 mm portion i'm talking about okay um let me use a dark color the red color i'm talking about and thick lines all right so we're going to be starting from this point this here onwards you're going to eventually see a straight line this zigzag line you see from the left hand side will appear as a straight line so from this point to this point that's it we have a straight line okay what else you need to travel here by an amount of 50 millimeters okay the maximum width of the object okay done what else so you need to travel by an amount of 12 millimeters over here so this is going to be 12 this this uh, knife sort of a portion this knife sort of a portion and down below by 12 millimeters so we're going to go down below by 12 millimeters what's next so we've reached here now let us go here and that means this point i'm talking about we, we, we are now going to travel a distance of 18 millimeters towards the right hand side and uh, it should look something like this please watch this carefully okay so this is 18 millimeters let me let me check this yeah that's 18 all right okay now we need to go upstairs by an amount of 45 millimeters so this is 45 millimeters i know that very well all right what it's we need to go here towards the right hand side towards the extreme right that means here what next um we need to travel by an amount of 12 millimeters 12 millimeters in the upper direction okay that's it 12 millimeters what's next man and then we need to travel by an amount of 22 millimeters okay 22 millimeters all right and by traveling 22 millimeters you're going to end up here okay that's where you're going to end up all right and then finally you need to travel slightly up ahead and then this zigzag sort of a line now this line eventually would look like a straight line all right and it should look something like this let me show you how and then finally this point we have reached this point we've reached and then right hand side joining with this point some sort of a f portion or a f sort of a what do you call left hand side with something that you're going to see when you look at this object from the left hand side eventually 
all that we see we have made it by dark solid lines and there aren't gonna be any hidden lines okay you can work that out by yourself now the next thing to do is to place dimensions and we're gonna do so um that's 50 that's 90 that's 45 That's 12. That's 10. What else? Okay, now let's go for this. This is going to be 40 and 10. Okay. This is 10. This is 40, 90, we have already done that. This is going to be 12, 10, and uh, you can see this. This is going to be finally in the side view. Let's have this. This is 12, okay? And from this point onwards, right till the bottom, we have this as 24. We already know this 12, so we are not going to repeat the dimension, okay? And what else? This is going to be 18, I mean, okay. So let's go ahead and plot that. That's 18. So let me zoom on this so that you guys can have a good look at this. So guys that was all from my side for today. If you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. Guys there are going to be more such problems based on orthographic predictions. So stay tuned to my channel and do subscribe. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.